Cigarettes are smoked by over 1 billion people, which is around 20% of the world's population in 2014. Even though smoking rates have leveled off or slightly declined in developed countries, this is the opposite for developing countries, with tobacco consumption continuing to rise. The typical cigarette contains 6 to 11 milligrams of nicotine, although no more than 1 to 3 milligrams actually reaches the bloodstream of the smoker. It enters the smoker's lungs mainly on tiny particles called tar, a complex mixture of hydrocarbons of which some are known to be carcinogenic. When cigarettes were first introduced, they were rolled manually by a skilled worker who could make around 2,500 to 3,000 cigarettes per day. In 1884, a cigarette machine was built which could make around 120,000 cigarettes in one day. However, a modern day machine can produce 4,000 to 8,000 per minute. This statistic alone shows a massive increase in demand for cigarettes. When smoking cigarettes, nicotine first reaches the brain in about 7 seconds, which is twice as fast as when the drug is administered intravenously. Nicotine works mainly by acting on nicotinic cholinergic receptors, which are found in many parts of the brain. Smoking cigarettes can also stimulate the release of hormones such as adrenaline and norepinephrine, which can increase your heart rate and narrow blood vessels. The action of nicotine on parasympathetic ganglia increases hydrochloric acid secretion in the stomach, which can exacerbate or contribute to the formation of stomach ulcers. Smoking also increases the exposure to carbon monoxide. This harmful chemical is inhaled when smoking and outcompetes oxygen for hemoglobin, reducing the amount of oxygen your body needs. Long term exposure to carbon monoxide can cause red blood cells to increase in size, leading to high blood pressure and an increase in susceptibility to blood clots. High affinity nicotinic receptors in the brain are also responsible for the firing of dopaminergic neurons, which increase the amount of dopamine in the brain. This neurochemical is responsible for your mood regulation. After around 2 hours, the effects of smoking wears off and dopamine levels decrease. This is why smokers tend to feel cranky, lack concentration and can even feel drowsy. The low dopamine levels means that long term smokers need to smoke a number of cigarettes throughout the day in order to maintain a mood balance. Mild nicotine withdrawal emerges during the overnight period, while the smoker is sleeping, yet at the same time the nicotine tolerance built over the previous day partially dissipates. Because of these two processes, the individual awakens the next morning with a strong craving for a cigarette and may have the most effective response to nicotine. About 60-70% of nicotine is transformed into the chemical cotinine. This is broken down by a liver enzyme. Due to genetic variation, some individuals lack the activity of the enzyme and so reduce nicotine metabolism. Recent studies have shown that these people are less likely to become smokers and if they do, they smoke less cigarettes throughout the day. A drug called methoxylin has been developed that inhibits liver nicotine metabolism. This compound is being tested for the potential use in smoking treatment programs. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe.